This is a First Alert 5 weather alert. It's another snowy Saturday here in Southern Colorado and a snow band has set up early this morning in the Pikes Peak region. Parts of the area have seen up to three inches of snow already. So we are once again on weather alert today at News 5. Here are the latest details I've got for you. We're tracking moderate to heavy snow throughout the day, generally in snow bands. The greatest impacts will generally be in the afternoon for I-25, although the snow band this morning also fairly impactful for us. The snow will end from north to south this evening, I think around 10 p.m. in the springs and a little bit later as we head south towards Pueblo. The highest totals will still be in the southern plains and wherever we see these snow bands setting up. Now speaking of those snow bands, here's a live look from our Rock Ribbon Studios. It's still snowing fairly heavily. 29 degrees 40 right now in the springs. No change in temperature from when we were talking at 7 a.m. And that's pretty much going to be the trend all day. Pueblo, lighter snow for you right now, but also 29 degrees. And that's also going to be the trend with the lighter snow totals in Pueblo and the higher snow totals further to the north and south. Now, taking a look at water vapor, we can see this area of low pressure. Pretty large system for us overall with lots of moisture making its way into the state and lots more that will make its way into the state later. So we've got several more hours of this system to go and you can see this big upper level what we would call a trough in place as well and that's bringing us cold temperatures which means this will be a light and fluffy snow which is good news for shoveling tomorrow. Now as we take a look at the Pikes Peak region our current radar is showing that heavy snow band north of the springs towards Monument Hill where you see those darker blues that's where we're tracking those one inch per hour snowfall rates with good upslope flow in place here along the Pikes Peak. Well this is a technical term but we would call it a massive basically the big uh, mountains on Pikes Peak. Now, as we take a look at radar across the entirety of Southern Colorado, we see that heavy snow band here, and then we also have more snow filling in across most of the Eastern and Southern Plains. And we have a snow band in uh, Western Los Animas County making its way towards Huerfano County, lighter in terms of overall accumulation rates, but those darker blues once again are around three quarters of an inch per hour. So not too shabby snow uh, in terms of our accumulation rates this morning. Now, as we go through the day, taking a look at future cast, two things to know. The first is that temperatures remain below freezing. So all of this is going to be falling as snow. The second thing to know is that as we head towards the afternoon, we'll all be seeing light snow showers. A few of us will see moderate snow showers, but the biggest impacts will occur between 3 and 6 p.m. this afternoon along the I-25 corridor. That's when the best snow banding will occur, not just in the Pikes Peak region, but for most of the rest of our areas as well. Along the eastern plains, we'll still be seeing light snow generally during the afternoon, but that will change towards the evening. Drier air is going to work in from the north, so that's going to cut snow off in the springs around 10 p.m., 9 p.m. in Woodland Park, 11 p.m. in Pueblo but that snow is going to concentrate in our southern zones. So heavy snow in the evening in Huerfano, Los Animas and Baca counties. And that will generally depart early on Sunday morning. You'll wake up to some clouds, cold temperatures, but the snow will be rolling on out of here. Now we do have various weather alerts in effect. Winter weather advisories, all of these areas shaded in purple on your screen until 5 a.m. tomorrow and winter storm warnings for the areas shaded in pink, the southern areas where we are expecting the highest snow totals. Now, speaking of those snow totals, here's what I've got us at right now. Six to nine inches in the springs, that accounts for the three inches that has already fallen and what we're expecting the rest of the day. And then similar totals in Monument where we're also seeing that heavy snow band, but otherwise pretty similar to where we were last night. I've upped things a little bit on Levita Pass and for our southern zones as well. So taking a closer look at the Pikes Peak region, find your city on the screen to see exactly what I think for your uh, community in the Springs area. And now as we go south towards the southern zones, similar story. Now, again, I've upped the totals in Levita Pass and uh, for Kuchara, but the other zones are pretty similar overall for us. Our current temperatures are in the upper 20s along the Front Range Corridor lower 30s along the eastern plains and teens in the higher terrain and we're going to see pretty similar conditions for our highs today meaning again all of this is falling as snow as we move through the day we're not going to be warming up super quickly with this system 34 for the high tomorrow and we still have that impact scale three in the springs for today but monday looks nice mid 40s for your highs and then low 50s by thursday next week pueblo 34 today Two out of five storm impact, low 50s next week. So a few inches of snow today, slow warm up, but much of next week looks very nice for you. In Canyon City, a two out of five storm impact for you as well, with several inches expected, but less than we're seeing further to the north. Low 50s next week and Woodland Park, three out of five.